Hey YouTube, Tech for Time here, and today I'll be showing you a video on how to trick your iPhone into thinking it's on a different iOS firmware. I'm currently on 5.0.1, and for this video I want to be higher, so I want to be on 5.1. The reason I want to do this is because, is because I want to download this Dublin Bus app, but I can't because I need to be on 5.1. And if you have reasons not to update because of jailbreaks and stuff, this is very handy. So I'll just show you what I mean. I go into this app and I try to download it. I'll come up. This app requires iOS 5.1. So to check your iPhone, you want to make sure you have iFile downloaded off Cydia. You do need BGI working for this. So you want to just search iFile and download one of those ones, iFile. Okay, once you have iPhone iPhone downloaded, you want to open it. Go all the way back to the slash or dash or whatever you call that. You see at the top here, and you want to scroll down and go to System, then Library, then Core Services. Scroll down to the bottom where you see System Version .plist. So you want to click into that. Go to Text Viewer. Go to Edit. You have to look down here where it says, can't zoom in, but it says string 5.0.1 string. So you want to delete the zero, so it's 5.1. You can type whatever firmware you want in there, and that's it. So you want to click done and save that, and then done. You want to back out and reboot your phone. Turn it off and turn it back on. Okay, so now your iPhone or whatever Apple device you have, it believes it's on a different firmware. And it will say that in settings, general and about. Okay, so then you can go back into the App Store, download the app you want. And you won't get anything stopping you from downloading. So let your apps download, whatever other apps you want. And then you'd want to go, then we have to go back into iFile and then change it all back to the firmware you're actually on. So that app's downloaded. Now I'll go back into iFile and change it all back. So back into System, Library, Core Services, and then System System.Version.Plist. Text Viewer. Edit. You want to put in the 5.0.1 make sure that's right 5.0.1 and save done back out and once again reboot okay so now I'm back on 5.0.1 and the app works it works normally but it just you just need 5.1 to install it so yeah it's real simple only takes a couple of steps no problems doesn't do anything to your phone if you just put it back to normal. Oh yeah, actually, when when you change it first in iFile and then you you reboot your system, if anything comes up saying system version too new or anything else, just ignore them and they'll be fine. So if this video helped you, please give the video a like, comment if you have any questions, and please remember to subscribe. So help me out a lot. Helps me out a lot.